This is the Prosper Group Week in Review podcast. Each week, we take a look at what is happening in digital advocacy and politics with a right of center focus. I'm Dan Huber. And I am Caroline Alexander. Thank you all for listening to Prosper Group Week in Review podcast. If you like the show and you like what we're saying, please subscribe and share um, with all your friends and family. Um, so we can continue to do what we're doing now. And if you want to find us, we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and also Google Podcasts. All right. Well, Caroline, we're coming up on the end of the first quarter. What should campaigns be doing at the end of the quarter? Yeah, so this is the first in a quarter of 2021, um, which is always big. Any in a quarter push, we always like to really emphasize the importance of that and really get some fundraising pushes out. A few notes that I always like to tell um, our accounts that we work on. First, for any quarter, any fundraising, you want a sense of urgency. This is important. We need your donation now. That $5 that you're going to donate is important right now. Any kind of urgency, it's going to help push any kind of donor to give. That's super important. Also, we like to set a goal, some kind of cohesive series that if it's five emails, if it's six emails, if it's three emails, set a goal of we want to raise $5,000 for this this end of quarter. Set that goal, make it cohesive so each email you send out, each send you send out has a next goal. We're pushing for this. It's urgent. Let's do this together. And also you can switch up um, your content, add some images in there, add some graphics, Um, Get stuff that people like to look at and click on is always important and engaging for folks. And I think it's okay to feel like you're sending too much during end of quarter. I know we um, have a few clients who are like, I think I'm sending too much, but that's the point of end of quarter. We want to push. We want to get as much content as we can out to get that money to raise it. And I think that's important. Um, And another tactic we like to use is to switch up senders if you're doing email fundraising. So if you're continuously getting an email from Dan Huber, Caroline Alexander, you're going to get annoyed from that. I don't know who they are. Switch it up. Say Team Alexander from, you know, another person, a finance director. As long as you can switch it up, people will stay engaged. And I think that's really important. That's great. Uh, So for listeners who may be wondering, how do end of quarter plans differ early in the cycle, like right now, as opposed to closer to the election? Well, to be honest, they don't. Um, Your messaging might switch up of what you're saying, um, timeliness, but you should always have that sense of urgency. And no matter if it's now this first end of quarter or the last end of quarter right before your election, urgency is key. Absolutely. Absolutely. That makes sense. You know, and it's important to remember that finance reports are kind of the one main measure that we're able to see about electability or reelectability for both candidates and incumbents, uh, at least from a public standpoint, and candidates who demonstrate an ability to raise money are less likely to get challenged. You know, they're a little more comfortable in the race. On the converse, those who struggle to raise money, they can be seen as vulnerable and be more likely to be challenged. Yeah, definitely, I agree. All right, so we'll switch it over on social media. What do we see in this week? Yeah, uh, you know, it's we're two months into the Biden presidency, so we're two thirds of the way through the first 100 days. So looking at social listening from the Prosper Group, there's a few things that we're really following right now. Gun control has peaked significantly over the past week or so following the Boulder shootings. We're also, you know, continuing to look at the border crisis. It continues to be a very uh, the conversation's a very sticky conversation that's not going away. Um, so I think that's something that we're gonna continue to watch for some time. The, the one conversation that you know continues to um, be sustained and growing, it seems like is the filibuster. So the left is really beating the drum for the filibuster, uh, trying to tie it to racist perceptions, Jim Crow, um, And so that's something that we're definitely seeing the conversation continuing to grow on. And then there's another conversation that I've kind of been keeping an eye on that's a little quieter out there, but I think is substantial given the environment. 
and that sur surrounds Congresswoman, Congresswoman Miller Meeks, sorry, uh, from the Iowa 2nd Congressional District. She was certified by six votes by the Iowa governor earlier this year, but the Democrats are looking into that election and kind of keeping it up in the air for potentially you know, discussing that. So given the entire environment right now and you know, voting rights and whatnot, it's kind of an interesting conversation to be following that's, I think, a little bit under the radar right now. Yeah, and I think you can use that um, also within a quarter push, using someone that's vulnerable. Hey, we need it right now. That urgency is important. So that's also something you can use if you're in a quarter push as well. Well, I think that just about wraps things up for today. Um, but I think we're going to add something else that's new, um, just something to get everyone involved um, in the podcast. And I think we're going to call it your digital action item for the week. And so this week, I think of it as a little bit of homework, but it's also a learning process that we're all doing together. I think since it's end of quarter and we really want to push that and we're emphasizing that, I think we should work together and get a minimum of three fundraising asks out between now and the end of quarter. That is an excellent action item for the week. I, I'm, I'm excited about that. I think that's a great ad. So thank you for that. I love it. Um, well, that's it for the week. Like Caroline said, we thank you for listening to the Prosper Group Week in Review podcast. If you like the show, please subscribe and share. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. Thank you for joining us.